Hey everybody, it's me Blazevoir, and welcome to Pokemon Emerald version. Uh, this is going to be a challenge run, a Nuzlocke run, of uh, Pokemon Emerald. Let me just quickly do my little settings that I have here. Um, I'm looking for a green one, but I don't think... Oh, there we go. I guess that's good. Anything else? No, there's nothing else. Alright, well, I'll stick with green. So yeah, this is Pokemon Emerald, um, and as a Nuzlocke run, there are two rules that I'm going to follow. The other rules aren't actually, they were added on by other people as part of the Nuzlocke run, but um, I'm going to be following the two main rules, which are, you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter on a route, and if a Pokemon faints, you have to release it. Uh, so, you know, there's the usual Pokemon story. Pokemon is, are inhabitants of a world, we live alongside them, and then sometimes we battle people, and we don't know everything, and there are 493, oh wait, no, there's 646, or, oh wait, no, we're in, uh, we're in Gen 3, so it's 386. I'm a boy. I'm gonna call myself Blaze, I don't actually know where the select key is on this emulator, I don't know. I don't uh, remember where I mapped it to, so I'll just uh, not use that for the time being. I know where start is, though. So it's Blaze. Ah, okay. You're Blaze, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into a world of Pokemon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Alright, so I chose Pokemon Emerald for a specific reason. I actually do want to do Pokemon Sapphire legitimately using uh, Pokemon Box Ruby and Sapphire, but I had to use an emulator for this because, well, you'll see in a few minutes. Anyway, so, you know, we're here. Must be tiring, running, running, yeah. We're in a, we, we came here in a truck. That's just goes to show you that, uh, our mother hates us. Um, yeah, we came here in the moving truck, and apparently Pokemon move furniture and stuff, and sometimes they even just sort of watch TV. I don't know what what this guy's doing, what this Big Roth's doing. This one's just running around with a crate. Uh, so let's see, what time is it? It is currently... 3.54 p.m. I'm probably going completely, completely the wrong direction, actually. I don't really... Yeah, I think I, I did go in the wrong direction. Whatever. I just have to go pretty far now. Alright, 7, 6, 5, 4... That should be good, right there. Confirm. Is this correct time? Yes. How do you like your new room? Well, apparently it's the only room in the house. Where are you gonna sleep? Make sure that everything's there on your desk, yeah. Um, in every Pokemon game up to, uh, Diamond and Pearl, you could withdraw a potion from, uh, your PC. Diamond and Pearl, they removed the whole PC storage feature because you can carry unlimited items, so there's no reason to have a PC. So there's no reason to put a, a potion for you. Um, and this potion might be helpful in the Nuzlocke run, because if any of my Pokemon faint, well, you know. They, they, they die permanently, forever. Alright, so we gotta go see Professor Birch next door, even though he's not actually there. Seems legit. Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're Blaze, our new next door neighbor. Hi. 
We have a daughter about the same age as you. Oh, how convenient. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. My daughter is upstairs. Okay, good. Let's check this uh, daughter out. Ooh, a Pokeball. I'm gonna take it. Actually, I can't take it because this is a scripted sequence. I may I have dreams of becoming friends with Pokemon. I was hoping you'd be nice and we could be friends. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll catch you later. And then she goes over to her desk and is not helping at all. She said she had to help her dad, but... Oh, no, I'm gonna go to my PC, because I'm, I'm a douche. I'm gonna go out this side of the door instead. Um, so what's this, what's this girl doing here? Um, hi. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. I want to see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you go see what's happening for me? Sure, I guess. Help me! Oh, hey. This is Zigzagoon chasing you. Hello, you over there. Please, help! In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Alright, well, let's check it out. And you can see that this is not normal. I am using... Whoa, okay, this is kind of weird. I am using the, um... Pokemon Emerald Randomizer patch which randomly picks Pokemon in each route, um, and it also randomly chooses your starter Pokemon. Uh, so as you can see here, we have Metagross, Walrein, and Eevee. Um, this is, uh, I know the smart choice would be Metagross, and I probably should pick Metagross. Walrein would be okay, I guess, but Eevee, you get a lot more selection. Like I could pick any, like I could pick any of the evolutions of Eevee. Um, I kind of want to pick Eevee, but I'm pretty sure it would take a while to uh, get it to be decent. So I'm gonna do it rationally and pick Metagross. Maybe I'll catch an Eevee in the wild, because like I said, Pokemon in the wild are randomized. Um. So yeah, the starter Pokemon are randomly selected. Uh, there's like this whole jar configuration. Ooh. There goes. Starts up with some nice moves. Cool. Let's go with Confusion. Um, yeah, like I said, the, uh, the starter Pokemon are randomly chosen. Um, there's like a whole config file that I had to work through. Um, there is one thing that I made. Um, one setting that I chose and it is the hold item of your starter Pokemon, which I will just show you real quick I'll, when I get the chance to. Okay, come on. You don't have your own Pokemon yet, but now you're, you've got your father's blood in you, which of course we do. And I got the Metagross. You want to give a nickname to that Metagross? Um, I think I have to. I don't really know exactly what uh, the original Nuzlocke Run had, but let's see, what's a good name for Meta, meta Gross? Meta. Meta. Hmm. Meta Gross. I'm just gonna go with Metalhead, because I don't really. I'm not really good at nicknaming Pokemon, I'm just. I. I yeah. I'm not even gonna capitalize. Actually, you know what? I am gonna capitalize the H. You know, that's how original I am. Metal. And then head. Uh, A D. Okay. If you work at Pokemon Game Experience, you can be blah 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 blah. Don't you think it could be idea? Say may. Even if I say no, you're gonna. Okay, shut up. Even if I say no, he's gonna tell me to see her. So I'm just gonna. I gave my Pokemon a Master Ball because. Oh, oops. Take item. Take. I gave my Pokemon a Master Ball just in case, because I think it's actually possible that some legendaries can be in the grass if you pick random, because it can pick any of the 386 Pokemon. I'm just kind of worried here. And besides, even if I encounter something like in this first route with when I don't when I don't have access to Pokeballs, then it happens to be a legendary, then I can't even catch it. But let's see what this is. Oh, it's a, it's a Crawdon. Well. I don't. I, I have a Pokeball now, but I'm not, or a Master Ball now, but I'm not gonna catch this. This is, this is something I don't want necessarily. I mean, it'd be nice to have something like this, but eh, it's 
good uh, good experience, I suppose. Um, not all the Pokemon that I'll be encountering wild, not all the wild Pokemon that I'll be encountering will uh, be fully evolved, but um, hopefully we don't see like Blissey or something out there. That'd be ridiculous. But you know, we'll. Uh, it is out there. It probably will be out there. No, I don't want to heal again. Okay. I'm pushing the button a little bit too much here. Um, so let's talk to this guy, because I think he gives us a free potion. Um, let's see. Here, I'd like you to have this. Yeah, he gives me a potion. Good. Potion can be used any time. Yep. I know some of the other Nuzlocke uh, runs include things like, oh, you can't use potions or you can't heal at a Pokemon Center. Um, I may consider doing that. Oh, I kind of wanted a Metatite. Oh, well. Yeah, since I have the Master Ball, I, I can't really say, oh, I can't catch this just yet. So, we'll knock it out. It's probably going to take a while to train up this uh, Metagross since I think it has a... It has a slow growth rate as far as the experience thing goes. Um, I'll finally reach level 6. Well, maybe that's supposed to happen, I don't remember. I don't remember how uh, how quickly these things level up. But, here's May. Sup? Come on, found on Route 103 include... Actually, you probably don't know because they're completely random. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer's like. So the trainers do have their regular Pokemon, and I'm kind of curious to see... Oh, hey, a Mudkip. Alright. So I guess she'll have her Mudkip team, and I guess this Metagross replaced, uh, Trico. Um, it's just a confusion. Heh, <laughs> not very effective. Can't be me with that. I, I didn't look at, uh, Metagross's nature. I hope it's kind of good, like... I don't know, Adamant wouldn't really be that great because, uh... It would hinder my Psychic-type moves, but... We'll see. Let me just check real quick, because I am... Okay, I don't know what happened there. Summary, we have Impish. That's good on defense, I think. I forget what Impish is. I think it might be plus attack, or plus defense minus speed, which isn't... I guess it's okay for Metagross. I'm not sure what the uh, speed base that is. Did I? Oh, did I get healed? I did not. Uh, one HP. It's not going to make too much of a difference, and we might be catching a Pokemon soon. In the wild, rather. Actually, I'm not sure if uh, if Nuzlocke runs say that you you have to wait. Or you can wait until you get your first Pokeball. Um, because technically I shouldn't have that Master Ball. Um, maybe I'll just forgo that little rule, if that is even a rule, just for this part. Just because technically I'm not supposed to have that Master Ball. Yeah, so we got the Pokedex. I think the Pokedex actually changes, uh, to show the areas of the wild Pokemon that have been randomized. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. No, don't talk to me. Um, like in the Pokedex, it'll probably tell me if I can find- no. In the Pokedex, it'll probably tell me if I can find Mudkip in the wild, right? Yeah, I can. In those three random places, okay. Well, I'm not really interested in catching Mudkip, but that's something to keep in mind. Alright, so now that I have, uh, Pokeballs, I'm gonna see if I can catch a Pokemon. But... Uh, here we go. There's running shoes for us. Can you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Uh, if you're going on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. I came with instructions. Press the B button, then you'll run. Blah, blah, blah. And come home. Okay, good. So we got the running shoes. Um, I think we'll go try to catch a first wild Pokemon in the next episode of Pokemon Emerald Random Nuzlocke Challenge Run Extravaganza. See you guys later.